Dear students, I am Shiva, Faculty of Physics. I hope you are doing well in your studies. Today, in this session, we are going to discuss one important topic for 9th standard students that is force on the plates of capacitor when the capacitor is maintained at constant potential. So, first of all, here you are seeing one capacitor. This capacitor previously not filled by any dielectric. This capacitor, one plate is connected to the positive terminal, one more plate is connected to the negative terminal. So, due to this battery, this capacitor is charged to Q. Now, we can calculate the force experienced by the either plate of the capacitor due to the electric field set up by the other plate. Suppose, here you are seeing plus Q lies in the electric field created by minus Q. Similarly, minus Q lies in the electric field created by plus Q. So, what is the direction of the electric field due to this plus Q or minus Q? That is rightward direction. With what magnitude? So, in the rightward direction with this magnitude, E is equal to sigma by 2 epsilon naught. Similarly, the direction of the electric field on this plus Q due to this minus Q. Electric field on this plus Q due to this minus Q is also directed in what direction? Rightward direction with this same magnitude E. Okay, now we are interested to calculate the force experienced by the either plate of the capacitor due to the field created by other plate of the capacitor. Now, what is the formula here for us? Already we know. If you are seeing any charge in the external electric field, the force experienced by the charge, we can calculate with the help of this formula, F is equal to EQ. Okay? So, here what is the value of E? Substitute the value of E here. That is sigma by 2 epsilon naught into Q. That is equal to so, what is the value for sigma? Suppose I am assuming this plate having the area that is equal to A. At that time, we can define the surface charge density with this expression Q by A. So, that is why we can write it Q by 2 epsilon naught into Q. So, nothing but it will become Q square by 2 epsilon naught. Okay? So finally we got this expression, the force acting on the plate of either capacitor that is what in nature, attractive in nature. So this plate experiences this force towards right, this plate also experiences this force towards left. That is why the force between the plates of capacitor is attractive in nature. Now we can extend our calculation a little more. Suppose here we got na, F is equal to Q square by 2 epsilon naught. So, here again we substituted A also, no? that is why here we are multiplying with A also. Okay. So, now what is the value of Q here? The value of Q is now Cv whole square divided by 2 epsilon naught. It will become C square V square divided by 2 epsilon naught. Okay. Again, we know from our previous discussion, the capacitance of the parallel plate capacitor is, what is the value of C here? Uh, the value of C is equal to epsilon naught A by D. Substitute the value of epsilon naught A by D here. What we will get now? So, here also it was multiplied by A, here also multiplied by A, again here also we are seeing that multiplication term with A. Now, substitute here what we can get? Epsilon naught A whole square into V square by D square divided by 2 epsilon naught into A. Okay? So, clearly we are seeing uh, the term to e, epsilon naught A, epsilon naught A cancels with each other. Now, what we can write? Epsilon naught A into V square by 2D square. So, this is the force acting on 
either plate of capacitor in the absence of dielectric when the capacitor is maintained at what potential? V potential. Okay. Now suppose the gap between the plates of capacitor is filled with uh, dielectric. What we are assuming? This gap now currently what we are seeing now? This gap is filled with dielectric as shown in this figure. At that time, assume the dielectric constant here we are taking as K. K indicates dielectric constant. Now calculate what is the expression for the force again. So what is this value for the force of attraction between the plates in the presence of this dielectric. So here due to the insertion of this dielectric the charge on the plates of the capacitor is increased by what factor? By the factor K. Previously what is the charge on the plate of capacitor that we have that is here Q indicates Cv. Okay. So but due to the insertion of this dielectric the charge on the plates of capacitor is increased by what factor? It was increased by K. So already this point we know from our previous video. That's why here now we are writing Q prime is equal to KCV. Okay. So now again what is the expression for the force suppose here I am interested on this plate. This positive plate having this charge in Q prime. On this positive plate, what is this force? How much force this positive plate will experience due to this charge that is minus QI due to this charge that is uh, here we are seeing now uh, this is uh, labeled as plus QI. Okay? Again due to this uh, minus Q prime. So observe here carefully. This plate experiences force due to this Individual charge on the dielectric that is minus Qi due to this uh, in positive individual charge on the dielectric that is plus Qi due to the negative charge on the plate of capacitor that is minus Q prime. These three charges combinedly exert some force on the plates of dielectric on the plate of the capacitor. Now you can try to calculate that force. Suppose here you are saying that force is more than one now. That's why we can try to write that expression in the form of vector. Now what we can write here? F bar is equal to, okay? So Q into E bar. Here E bar due to what charges? E bar due to minus QI plus E bar due to this plus QI plus E bar due to the minus Q prime. Okay. So now we can substitute the values of these electric fields. So again we will write as F prime is equal to Q into. So what is the E due to this minus Q by? So minus Q by exerts the electric field on this Q prime in what direction? In the direction now that is clearly we are seeing in the rightward direction. That's why we can write down this electric field sigma by 2 epsilon naught into i hat. Okay. Similarly, due to this plus q y, this plate experiences some force in which direction? That is leftward direction. So electric field also they are acting in the leftward direction. That's why here what we can write minus sigma by 2 epsilon naught into i hat plus this charge what we are seeing now as free charge this free charge also responsible for the creation of the electric field in which direction rightward direction electric field is rightward nothing but this charge also experiences force in what direction rightward direction so electric field is rightward due to this minus q prime so force also in rightward direction that's why here what we can write sigma by 2 epsilon naught into i hat. So one more thing here Q indicates the charge on this plate. Na. Currently what is the charge we are seeing now on this plate that is Q prime. That's why remember this Q for us indicates what here Q prime. Now we are labeled that one here clearly. Okay now this term this term gets cancelled. Now what is that remaining term? So, F bar is equal to 
प्राइम इंटू सिग्मा बै टू एक्सीट इंटू ई हेट सो दिस वेक्टर इक्वेशन now we can write this vector equation into the scalar equation then what we can write again f is equal to q prime into sigma divided by 2 epsilon naught okay so now some more calculation we can do here what is q prime q prime clearly we know kcb now substitute this value of q prime here now what we get F is equal to K C V into sigma by two years long. So what is the value for sigma? So sigma indicates here again what Q by A. Okay, that's why here we can write uh, F is equal to K C V into this value for us uh, Q by two years long not into ये, ओके, सो हियर अगेन एफ इज़ इक्वल टू व्हाट इज़ क्यू अगेन क्यू इंडिकेट सीवी, सो सीवी इनटू सीवी सीवी होल स्क्वायर, दैट्स वाइ हियर अगेन वी कैन राइट सी स्क्वायर बी स्क्वायर डिवाइडेड बाय टू एफ सिलार नॉट इनटू ये, ओके, सो अगेन हियर व्हाट इज़ द वैल्यू फॉर सी अगेन वी कैन स Capacitance in the presence of dielectric, na. That's why here what we can write K into epsilon naught A by B whole square into so B square divided by two epsilon naught into A. Here one more thing you need to remember. After the insertion of this dielectric, the dielectric factor now K introduced na here. That's why here we can write what now this is sigma. Sigma indicates here also q prime by epsilon naught here. Nah? That's why because of this one, this one simply here also it will become multiple of k. So k into k we will get here k square. So here also it will become multiple of k square. Then it will become epsilon naught here, epsilon naught here gets cancelled. Then what we write here k square into epsilon naught. ये v square divided by 2 d square, okay? So clearly we are seeing now after the insertion of the dielectric, the force becoming k square times to the previous value. That's why the force because of the insertion of the dielectric increased by what factor? K square factor. Okay, this is today's lecture. I hope you understood this session well. In the next lecture, we will meet with one more new video. Thank you for watching. Okay.